you feel any better, I'll take full responsibility. That is not the point. Look, Elizabeth, I've got a lot on my plate at the moment, and your mysterious £550 is the least of my worries. Well, it may not seem much to you, but I'm afraid if you can't take these matters more seriously, well, I may have to consider looking for another job. Don't start threatening me. I've told you it's probably my fault. I just can't remember anything about those checks. I'll start looking into it, OK? That's all I'm asking. And I'll get to the bottom of it one way or the other, so you can stop pestering. Thank you. Well, I won't interrupt your evening any longer. Good night, Mr. Tate. Zoe? Trouble? As if I didn't have enough. So, what's your problem? No, no, it's not my problem. It's a friend. Anyone I know? It's not important. See, the thing is, with them having different attitudes at university, they'd be more broad-minded, wouldn't they? So they'd be like... Less prejudice against things like, well, gays, for instance. Gays? Yeah, you know, like, gays, homosexuals and that. Yes, Archie, I do know what you mean. Well, then. Well, I suppose it depends who you're talking to. I mean, most of us aren't bothered. Oh, right, good. Well, I thought maybe that you'd have, like, gay clubs at university. Oh, yeah. They run some of the best discos around. I've been to a few myself. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Oh, yes. uh, pint for me and an orange juice for Debbie, please. Well, if you just go and sit down over there, I'll bring them over in a minute, Mark. Well, why? You're not exactly rushed off your feet, are you? I'm talking to Archie. Oh, come on, I want to have a drink. Mark, just do it. All right. It'll take all night about it. So, let me get this straight. Your friend is interested in going to a gay club? Yeah, well, you know what it's for some people. I mean, they have, like, well, a problem. You know, finding out where to get started. I suggested following Leeds Gay Switchboard, but, well, it's difficult plucking up the courage, you know. It's all right, Archie. You don't have to say any more. I think I know exactly what you mean. Oh, great. Well, I was hoping, wondering, if you could bring a couple of gay mates at barbecue. What, so I could introduce them to your friend? Yeah, that's the idea. Oh, I'm sure I'll be able to fix something up. And you just tell your friend not to worry. Helps at hand. Great stuff. I thought we might have a quiet evening in together. Why not? I wasn't planning on going up. Good. It's a chance to talk for a change. You can have a mix supper. I'm not hungry. I'll have a sandwich later. You ought to have a proper meal, Dad. You hardly have anything these days. Remember what you promised me? It's been a bad day. Look, whatever B. Elizabeth Pollard has got in her bonnet, it's not worth getting this uptight about it's it. It's not about Elizabeth. At least she's on my side. Which is more than I can say for some. Meaning? Christopher, Cathy, Kim, they're all out to get me one way or another. And the way you're behaving has got nothing to do with it. Why can't you just try and see things the way they really are? What I see, Zoe, is my family determined to run me out of my company. Not true. I've already explained my position. What about Chris? Kim? They're out to ruin me. That's it. Where are you going? To my room. I can't stand it when you get paranoid. I've heard it all a hundred times. That's right. Run away from it. I have already promised you my support. How many more times do I have to tell you? I'm sorry. I didn't mean... What is the matter with you? Are you so stuck in that bottle you can't see what's going on around you anymore? I'm sorry, I was out of order. It's a difficult time for me at the moment. You are not the only person with things to sort out in your life, you know. But you can't see that anymore, can you? All you do is sit there wallowing in self-pity. It never seems to occur to you that someone might need you. I might need you. I might need to talk to you. Sorry, love, please. What's the point? You wouldn't understand anyway. I was a fool to even consider it. What are you talking about? I don't know. I'm going out. Where? For a drive, anywhere. I'll come with you. No, oh, thanks. Ask Archie about taking drives with you. Oh, so I want to get out of this house. Away from you.
thought I'd wait out here for you. I might not have come back. But you did. Nowhere else to go. Is that the only reason? No, not really. I dug out some old photographs where you were going. You and Chris, when you were kids. Happy families. I've never been much of a father to you, have I? I expect you did your best. I like to think so, but life has a habit of getting in the way, doesn't it? Always another deal, a business to run. Sometimes you forget where your priorities should be. I guess so. Anyway, it's too late to start digging into ancient history. You don't like me very much, do you? No. No way I wish I did. Make all this much easier. Make what easier? Zoe, I'd like to help you, but I can't if you don't tell me what it's about. Are you in some sort of trouble? No, not exactly. Is it money? I trust you to think of that first. What then? You're not pregnant, are you? No, Dad. I'm not pregnant, and I don't have any money worries. Look, I'm not very good at playing 20 questions. Now, if you've got something to say, please say it. It's funny, isn't it? You know, my father. I'm your flesh and blood, but I can't talk to you. Yes, you can. I'm sorry I got so angry. It wasn't just at you. It was at me, too. I wanted to talk to you so many times, but I could never seem to find the right moment. That's my fault. Too drunk. Too often. But I'm not drunk now. I've rehearsed this conversation over and over again. It seemed much easier when I was just telling myself. Whatever it is, it can't be that bad. It's because we've never really talked. You could talk the hind legs off a donkey when you were little. That was a long time ago, Dad. When life was much simpler. And I wasn't a drunk. I've been a real pig, haven't I? Yes. Then let me make up for it now. Maybe you should hear what I've got to say to you first. I'm listening. You remember a couple of months ago, when I was going to have a friend to stay? Yeah, Linda, wasn't it? Laura. That's right, and she never turned up, and you'd gone to town to make that fancy meal. What about her? Is this got something to do with her? In a way. We used to work together. We got on pretty well. She's gay. What are you telling me? One night I went over to her place. And she made a pass at me. But as they say, I made my excuses and left. What the... Is she still hassling you or something? Do you want me to go and sort her out? No, Dad, she's not still hassling me. I haven't seen her since. What then? I wouldn't have been there if it wasn't what I wanted. I knew she was gay. I liked her. I just got scared. What are you telling me? You know what I'm telling you. You can't be. I don't believe you. It's true. <laughs> no. change anything. I know. 
I was just thinking that myself. You were such a lovely little girl. Dad. Your mother used to tell me I should watch out for you. You'd have all the young lads after you. Well, she got that bit wrong, didn't she? I wonder what she'd say now. She'd probably be crying. She wouldn't believe you. You can't be. <laughs> I can't even say it. You don't have to say anything, Dad. But you did have boyfriends, didn't you? Lots of them. Not really. Not for very long. You just haven't found the right one yet, that's all. The right man. There isn't a right man, Dad. You don't know. Yes, I do. You can't be sure. I mean, all this happened before you came back to Beckendale. But you still went out with Archie, didn't you? You wanted to go out. I told you I was scared. I hoped it would work with Archie. But I could tell myself that I was normal. I was what you all thought I was, what you wanted me to be, only I wasn't. It still doesn't prove anything. I mean, let's face it, Archie isn't exactly Mr. Wonderful, is he? He's the best friend I've ever had. He couldn't have been kinder. He's really helped me through all this. He knows that. Well, I had to tell him. I couldn't just break it off with him without letting him know why. It wouldn't have been fair. I couldn't go on, Dad. I was living a lie. I had to be myself. Who I am. What I am. I couldn't be happy otherwise. You do understand, don't you? Not really. I had to tell you. I know you didn't want to hear it, but it's done now. The rest is up to you. Say something, please, Dad. I don't know what to say. I had no idea. The possibility had never crossed my mind. No, I don't suppose it had. Funny, I always wondered what sort of a fellow you would end up with. I even decided to like Archie, if he was what you wanted. <laughs> Who'd have thought it, eh? That I'd end up wishing Archie was my son-in-law. Anything's better than this, you mean? Does it really seem so terrible? If you want to know, Zoe, I'm devastated. I thought everything bad that could happen to this family already happened. I see. It's been a shock. I need time. Of course. I could do with some air. Lovely, isn't it? On a summer's evening. One of the nice things about this place. Yes. I'm sorry, Dad. I should never have come back here. It's been a mistake. What do you mean? I'd be better off trying to make a fresh start somewhere else. I don't want you to go. Maybe it'd be easier for both of us in the long run. I still don't want you to go. Come and sit by me. Can't have been easy for you, telling me like that. It wasn't. It was very brave of you. I admire you for that. Thanks. And you're right. I am selfish. It was the first thing I thought about. What will people say? Will they blame me? Is it my fault? It isn't anybody's fault. It just is. So, is there anyone in particular? No, not really. I suppose Laura might have been. If 
I haven't been so frightened. What are you going to do now? I don't know. I don't think I know any, uh, any homosexuals. At least I don't think I do. Maybe they just didn't tell me. There's a lot of it about, they say. I don't care about anyone else. I just want to help you, if I can. You don't have to do anything, Dad. Just be here. And I don't give tuppence about what people say. They're probably saying plenty about me already. Most of it's true. If there's one thing I've learned from you, Dad, is that I am not a quitter. I am not going to run away from this any longer. Just remember, Zoe, whatever happens, you have my support. And I'm proud of you. I'll always be proud of you. <laughs>